So going back to the point in Hosea, all right, because we cast the Lord off, and the scriptures say what? Get ye out of the way. Cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us, man. So because we say, forget the Lord, the Lord said, forget us, man. Once again, that's why we are punishment. All right? Let me get this. In the book of Jeremiah, all right, Yeremiah, okay? He is exalted, he is appointed. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter two, verse 32. Matter of fact, I'll start at verse 30, all right? Jeremiah, Yeremiah, chapter two, verse 30. It says, in vain have I smitten your children. They received no correction. Your own sword have devoured your prophets like a destroying lion. All right, that's the Lord saying that, that, that what? He destroyed us in vain, man, okay? He destroyed us because what? We, 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 we repelled him, we rebelled against him, okay? So the Lord kept sending these other nations to beat our asses, man. The Lord kept sending these other nations to kill us all, all right? And the worst one right now is America. Esau Edom, the so-called white man, is killing us off in the worst way possible, man. Okay, once again, peep the signs. Do your research. And I'm gonna keep saying it, man. Pat Poo said it best. You got a bunch of dumb niggas with smartphones, man. Here it is, you got access to thousands of years of information right in the palm of your hand and you don't use it. You damn idiots. Okay? You people are a bunch of, uh, a bunch of fools, man because you don't want to do your research and that's why you're going to continue to get jacked up. You know? Jeremiah chapter two, verse 30, it says, in vain have I smitten your children. They received no correction. Yeah, because what? They don't want to listen. We didn't want to listen to the heavenly father and the son. It says, it says they received no correction. Your own sword have devoured your prophets like a destroying lion. It says, O generation, see ye the word of the Lord. Have I been a wilderness unto Israel, a land of darkness? Wherefore, say my people, we are lords. We will come no more unto thee. Yeah, the, the, uh, uh, Israel, I right, the wicked of Israel, boasting against the Most High. We're lords. We don't need the Heavenly Father, man. Okay? Which even until this very day, our people are still doing the same and acting. You know? We don't need God. Let's build up the black community on our own. Let's do it ourselves. Let's attack these cops ourselves. Let's save ourselves. But the scriptures say what? Vengeance is mine and I shall repay. Thus saith the Lord of hosts. Okay? But Jake has been so puffed up and been so proud for so long, you still got the wicked of our people who, who, who don't want to rely on the Lord, man, for anything. You want to do it yourselves. And that's going to be your downfall, man. That's going to be your downfall. All right? That's why you got the Lord taking so many of these damn celebrities out. Okay? Because what? They came up some other way. They didn't want to give any credit to the most. I look at what the hell Jamie Foxx is going through right now, man. All right? He's hospitalized. He's in straits right now, man. He's, he's pretty much a vegetable. The Lord may take him out soon, man. Okay? Because what? And even though he's an Israelite, he's not giving any credit to the Heavenly Father and the Son. So the Lord may take his ass out soon. He's another damn coon of the so-called black community, man. Wearing dresses and shit. Doing all of these movies. Not giving any credit to the Heavenly Father and the Son, bro. All right? And now he's hospitalized. And these actors and these celebrities, these are the, these are the people that y'all look up to. But they have no righteousness. They have no righteousness in them. Okay? Our people boasting themselves against the Heavenly Father and the Son. That's going to be your downfall. Once again, 
All right? Jeremiah chapter 2, verse 32. It says, can a maid forget her ornaments or a bride her attire? Yet my people have forgotten me days without number. And that's the point, all right? My people have forgotten me days without number, man. You think the Lord is not pissed off? You think the Lord is not sad that his own people, all right? Want to be joined into another people? Want to be joined into idols? Want to be spiritual adulterers and adulteresses? You think the Lord is happy about that shit? The Lord is not happy, man. It is all through the scriptures. But listening to the devil, he'd be like, oh, God is love, God is love, so on and so forth. The most high is love, but the most high is about uh, judgment too, man. The most high is about judgment at the end of the day. God is love, just like God is hate, and God is war, all right? But ultimately, the Heavenly Father is about judgment and righteous judgment, judgment according to His will, all right? So when His true chosen people rebel against Him, okay, and push Him out of the picture, you think He's not going to punish us? You think He's not going to punish us for that? And He's did so every single time, bro, every single time. Okay? Now, going back to my lesson. <laughs> Gotta let Jake know, man. This is the book. Of Ecclesiasticus called Sirach. <clears throat> Chapter 12, verse 10. It says, never trust thine enemy, for like as iron resteth, so is his wickedness. Okay? And I threw the signs up earlier, all right? Just like a store, just like a sword made out of iron, all right, will rust. All right, so does the wickedness, the, 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 the wicked filthy deeds, all right, of your enemy is gonna be so, man. All right, he's just gonna wax worse and worse. All right, that's why the scriptures tell us, don't trust your enemy, man. How the scriptures tell us not to even trust our own brothers at times, man. Okay? Scriptures say what? Trust ye not in any brother, for any brother will utterly supplant. Roughly paraphrasing. And that's exactly what our people do, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Jake, our own, our own brothers, man, that we you hear in the world all the time. It be your own people, B. It be your own people. And it do. It, it be like that. All right? That's why it's not good to give credit so quick, all right? That's why it's not good to invite anybody into your car or anybody into your house and things of that nature because what? They're gonna be strategizing, they could be strategizing about how to take you out. How to sleep with your woman. How to steal food out of your crib, okay? And their minds, they could be mapping the whole thing out. Now that's our own people. How much more the ones ruling over us right now, man? The self-proclaimed white race. All right? They was created to be the wicked. You think they're not doing the same exact thing times 10? Come on now, man. Sirach 12 and 10, it says, never, never trust thine enemy. For like as iron resteth, so is his wickedness. Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. And thou shalt be unto him as if thou hadst wiped a looking glass, and thou shalt know that his rust have not been altogether wiped away. Yeah, man. All right. You think he's good? Okay. You think you think you know he finally turned the other cheek? All right. He, now he, he wants to do righteous and things of that nature. The scriptures say what? It's just like wiping the glass to see this. Nah, there's, there's still some specks there. There's still some specks there. You know, there's still some filthiness there. There's still some unrighteousness there. All right. That's how it is when you trust your enemy, man. Just when you think he finally, he finally turned the other way. He finally wants to start doing good, okay? You see that he will never do good, man. And that's the nature of these so-called white people, okay? 
That's why someone will walk by you and be like, hey, good morning. You know, put that little, that little uh, facetious ass smile on. That little, hmm. You know? Try to strike up a conversation with you in the grocery store and things of that nature. Yeah, these so-called white people, yeah, they, they do humble themselves, man. All right? But they do it to what? To condescend to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. But inwardly, they hate you. The scriptures say that. The descendants of Esau, Edom. All right? They hate you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, bro. They hate us with another level of hatred, man. They hate us on another level, man. <laughs> All right? Sirach 12 and 12, it says, Set him not by thee, lest when he have overthrown thee, he stand up in thy place. Neither let him sit at thy right hand, lest he seek to take thy seat. And thou at the last remember my words, and be pricked therewith. So there you go, man. As I mentioned earlier, all right? You let your enemy, all right? You let Esau eat him, the so-called white man, into your life, okay? Thinking that he's going to do you some good after generations of them fucking us up, okay? And he takes you out of power, and he takes everything from your house, and he takes your woman, and he takes your children, okay? You're going to remember the words of the Lord, Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you gonna remember the words of the Lord like, yo, damn bro, the scriptures did say that. And what, by that time it's gonna be too late, man. You're gonna remember the prophets. In the day that you chose, all right, to continue to trust in Esau, to continue to trust in oppression. What's the scriptures telling you not to do, man? Trust you not in oppression. Or love not oppression, man. Okay? And that's exactly what America uh, uh, establishes, oppression for our people. You know? Sirach 12 and 13, it says, Who will pity a charmer that has been with a serpent? Or any such as come nigh wild beast? Yeah. Who's going to pity a fucking snake charmer? Just like you charming the snake. You know? You playing a little flute. The snake is uh, uh, dancing out of the jar, and so on and so forth. And if it bites you, who's gonna pity you, man? Who's gonna feel bad for you? You know what the hell you was doing. The same thing with trusting Esau, Edom, the so-called white people, man. Because you trust in the system, because you trust in oppression, he's gonna bite you even further. He's gonna poison you even further, all right? Because once again, that is his nature. That is his nature to pull our people down, to perpetually oppress us. That is his duty. His blessing was the sword. Read Deuteronomy, the, 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 uh, not Deuteronomy, Genesis, the 27th chapter, man. The blessing of Esau, Edom, the so-called white race, is the blessing of and the power of destruction, which is called the sword in the scriptures, man. All right? They're destroying the earth. They're destroying everybody on the earth, man. That's how you can identify who the wicked of the world is, man. Job 9 and 24. Look at this Illuminati shit, man. These Rockefellers, these Rothschilds, these DuPonts, these Bilderbergs, okay? These top elite banking families, man, who control the media, who control the banks, okay? Who control the masses of the people, who control the presidents. Okay? These are the guys behind closed doors, man, doing shit behind closed doors. You know? And they done tried being secretive for so long. They done tried being secretive so, for, for, for so long, man. And now they out in the open. That man, all they works. Okay? Not all they works, but should we get in there, man? All right? The Lord is exposing these devils, man. They, they can't hide anymore. Okay, going back to the scripture, Sirach chapter 12, Sirach chapter 12, verse 13, it says, Who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent, or any such as come nigh wild beast? Yeah, if you go to a wild beast, you know, a wildebeest or a lion, or a tiger or a bear, okay? 
It's a wild animal. What the fuck do you think is gonna happen when you approach a wild animal? It's gonna wild out. It's the same thing with Israel going up to the wicked and inquiring of his ways. Okay, Esau Edom, he's a wild man. All right, full of wickedness, man. No. Sirach 12 and 14, it says, So one that go to a sinner and is defiled with him in his sins, who will pity? Yeah, who's gonna feel who's gonna feel sorry for you, man? Who's gonna feel bad for you? Once again, you knew what you was doing. Okay? You know who the wicked is. You know what a nigga looks like. You know what a damn devil looks like. The prophets are telling you. You not listening is your own fault, Jake. Israel, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you not listening to the warnings, are uh, you not listening to the prophecies and the prophets, all right, by way of the Heavenly Father, you not, you not hearkening unto the scriptures, the words of peace, okay? That's gonna lead to your own downfall, man, and rightfully so. Proverbs, the whole first chapter goes into that, man. Isaiah, the 65th chapter goes into that, man. Starting around verse 10, 11, maybe 12. Okay. Plenty of scriptures. Ezekiel, the third chapter goes into that, man. All right. Because you want to be stiff back. Because you didn't want to listen. Because you wanted to be hard-headed, man. All right. You're going to trust your enemy. And your enemy is going to mess you up even further, man. Your enemy is what's going to uh, get you uh, uh, caught in a nuke, man. All right. Your enemy is going to get you to, 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 to catch a nuke. You know, an intercontinental ballistic missile. Listening to your enemy, man. All right. Sirach so chapter 12, verse 15. It says, For a while he will abide with thee, but if thou begin to fall, he will not tarry. Yeah, like he, he he's he's not gonna he's not gonna take his time, you know, uh, uh ruin you out of power, man. Ruining you out of your, your resources, man. Defiling you. He's not gonna waste any time, man. That's why in the time of the Renaissance, which means rebirth, all right, over there in Europe, these damn devils coming into power, okay, they didn't waste no time taking down the the, the, the so-called black images, man, the images of our forefathers and our musicians. Alright? And our, and our God, man, okay, and his son. They wasted no time. They wasted no time, all right? The same ones that tell you the color of the Lord doesn't matter. If it didn't matter, why did you change his image? How did he go from being dark skin to being light skin, man? Okay? How did he go from, from having a, 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 a coiled, curly afro, okay, to have a long, stringy hair, man. How did he go from that? Okay? Same ones who tell you the color of the Lord don't matter. Ain't that some shit, man? All right? Sirach so chapter 12, verse 15, it says, For a while he will abide with thee, but if thou begin to fall, he will not tarry. Verse 16, An enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips, but in his heart, he imagineth how to throw thee into a pit. He will weep with his eyes, but, and if he find opportunity, he will not be satisfied with blood. Who does that sound like right now? Bro, who does that sound like, bro? It says what? An enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips, but in his heart, he imagineth how to throw thee into a pit. Who is that? Who is this talking about, man? You can equate it to both. The, the, the wicked of our people, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right? But right now, it, 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 you can equate it to Esau, all right? Hey, you can be whatever you want. Hey, you, baby, you don't need a husband. You don't need a man in your life. You can have all the sex you want. You can have all the children you want and take no responsibility. I got you. Then they give our women a uh, 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 section eight, okay? and all these other governmental assistance programs, all right? Keeping the man out of the house. 
You know? Giving up women uh, birth control. All right? Saying they can do whatever the hell they want, man. All right? And the scriptures talk about that, too. You know, speaking sweetly with their lips, man. Let me go ahead and pull it. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 55, verse 21. It says, the words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords. Now, Psalms, the 55th chapter, is not talking about Esau, Edom. However, there's certain scriptures in there that you can equate to Esau, Edom, the so-called white race. Because what, they, they speak so, so sweet and calm, and, and they speak humbly to us, which is really, they're really just condescending. They're really just condescending to you, Jakes, man. Okay? But what? In their, in their heart was war, man. In their mind was war, man. Okay? Ready to take us out of power. Okay? That's why people is really the, 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 the biggest laughing stock on the planet right now, man. I mean, shit, look at Lil Nas X. Look at all of this shit coming out about P. Diddy, man. Which everybody pretty much knew P. Diddy was a damn mo. Okay? But look at you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Our women are the biggest whores on the planet now. All right, now. Our women are the biggest whores on the planet. The so-called black woman, the so-called Spanish woman, the so-called Native American, all right? And our men, a lot of our men are the biggest damn moles on the planet, man. What the hell is up with that? All right? All because you jakes decided to trust in oppression. Now look at you, the laughing stock of the whole entire world, man. Okay? All because what? You became enemies, all right? Ultimately, all of Israel, all of us became enemies to the Heavenly Father. And now we got a damn sick devil ruling over us, telling us, do what thou wilt. And you stupid ass niggas believe in it too. Damn, Jake, man, make me sick. But going back to the point, Psalms 55 and 21, it says the words, it says the words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. Okay? Once again, like how they come up, how they came over to, to you Gadites, are you so-called Native American Indians in the name of peace and safety? Okay? Made thousands of treaties with you, with you so-called Native Americans, man. And what did the damn devil do? Just like what devils do. They broke their treaties, man. They broke their promises. Okay? Turned out people against each other in the worst way possible, man. That's the nature of a damn devil, man. A deceiver, because that's what the word devil means. All right? Devil, deceiver, Diablo. It says the words of his mouth were smoother than butter. But war was in his heart. His words were softened in oil, yet were they drawn swords. Once again, he's ready for malice, man. Ready to make war on our people, always, continually. The scriptures talk about that. Okay? Going back to Sirach, Ecclesiastic is called Sirach. But that was, really, that was really the point on that, man. That was really the point on that. Okay? That's why what the prophets through the spirit and the power be how about Shem El Shaddai? That's when we come out and we, we 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 correct you, Jakes, in measure, man, by reason of the scriptures, by way of the scriptures. We tell you that what you're doing is wrong. All right, and we tell you how to get right. Okay, because both salvation and destruction is going to start at the house of God, man. It's in the first Peter, the fourth chapter. All right, judgment is starting at us first. That's why the prophets are out telling you to get right. Because even before salvation and destruction comes, there's going to be a famine of the word. They're trying to outlaw the Bible. Okay? They're starting to outlaw the Bible. They, they're, they're calling the Bible hate speech. Okay? That's why YouTube has these, these community guidelines and this medical misinformation bullshit, which is not uh, misinformation. Okay? When they're telling you that that, that, that damn bee juice that damn B shot that you people took can potentially kill you, man. 
That's why you got these celebrities, quote unquote, dying suddenly. Or unknown cause of death. We know what the hell it is. You people took that damn V juice, and what happened? Now you're feeling all faint in your body, all right? Because what these damn devils are killing you off. And now they're saying the V shot is no longer necessary. Okay? COVID-19 is no longer a, 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 a state of emergency or whatever the hell the case is, man. It's no longer, it's no longer a problem. All right? So all y'all all people done, y'all done took that, that damn V shot, and what, now, now you're slowly dying, man. Good fucking job. You did it to yourselves. You did it to yourselves, man. All right? Let me get this. In the book. Let me get this in the book of Lamentations, chapter 4, verse 21. It says, Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom. Talking about Esau, the so called white race, the self proclaimed white race. Okay? It says, What? Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of Uz. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken and shalt make thyself naked. <laughs> That's right. Esau eat him, okay? And this is sarcasm, by the way. The Lord is telling these so-called white people, go ahead, be happy. Be happy that you took down my people, all right? Because what the Lord wants you, you, you self-proclaim white people to get puffed up even more and more proud at him, okay? Just so he's even more justified in taking our wicked asses out, bro. He wants you to be puffed up. He did the same exact thing to Pharaoh in the time of the Egyptian captivity, man, for Israel. He did the same exact thing to Pharaoh, bro. And Esau, Edom, the so-called white race, the, 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 the Illuminati, they're the modern day Pharaoh, man. They're the modern day Pharaoh, just like America is the modern day Egypt. Okay? The Lord is hardening these devil's hearts, man just so he's even more justified in taking them out of power. You know? Lamentations 4 and 21, I'm gonna read it again. It says, rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of Uz. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken and shalt make thyself naked. And that's what's going on right now. And that nakedness is associated with shame, okay? Nakedness is associated with shame, all right? Especially in this particular scripture, okay? And what's going on in America right now, the shame of America is, is being exposed, man, by the prophets of the Lord. Starting with the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, man. Peep the signs. America's upbringing is totally shameful, man. Because look at what these damn crackers did to our people. And still doing to our people, man. It's so much information out right now, it, it's nothing to just go look it up. Just look it up. They call themselves whitewashing history now, but you can't, you can't blotch everything out, man. You can't blotch everything out, man. It's, it's not gonna work. The Lord is just gonna reveal it even more, you know? Now you, you got, you got, you got, you got, you, you got Esau, you got his own people calling him out. What is it called, whistleblowers? They're making these TikTok videos on what happened in America or doing slavery, all right? And you got the so-called Chinese calling out for what happened to America with the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You got Arabs calling out America, okay? You got these Elamites, these East Indians calling out our, our America and what happened and what's happening and so on and so forth. Every single nation under the sun is calling this place out because this place is wicked. All right? Lamentations, Lamentations chapter four, verse 21. 
verse 22. It says, the punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. He will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sins. All right, so there you go, man. All right, and this is future prophecy. All right, because what? We in captivity right now, but when Esau get pulled out of power, we're not gonna go into captivity again because we're gonna be made whole. We're gonna be made perfect. We're gonna be made righteous. All right? We're gonna to be made totally righteous, Jake. 